Thanks. How about now? All right. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. I'm Beth. Nice. Nice to meet you, Beth. You're I think nice. I'm Roy right now. You're Roy? Yeah, we're Roy. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. That is not funny. All right, so we shot kind of a silly intro there because we knew that Roy was the name of the last contractor that these people hired. So we wore name tags saying, my name is Roy, because we knew we'd get a kind of a little bit of a laugh out of the customer. Uh, but unfortunately, these, these poor customers had to hire this other contractor. We're working on a job in the basement, but I've seen this bathroom that Roy recently did, converted it into an ADA shower, because uh, this family has two disabled children, and Medicaid uh, kind of mandated the crummy contractor that they had to hire. Uh, but wanted to shoot a video, show some of his mistakes, and encourage people to please vet your contractor so you don't end up with jobs that look like this. So let's just kind of walk through. And um, if you have the chance to vet your contractor, ask for photos, check the reviews, make sure that you're really getting somebody who does quality work, somebody's gonna stand behind it because this is kind of a disaster in here. So let me take a look or show you guys some of the things that happened in this bathroom. All right, so the first thing I notice when I walk in, we've got what we call a self-opening door. Uh, really unfortunate that the door just, you've got self-openers or self-closing. Some people call them ghosting doors. It's because the door jam itself, the frame is not plumb. Uh, just a little bit of time to use a level when you're hanging a door can make a big difference. Um, just kind of a pet peeve there. Uh, second thing I noticed right off the bat, we got a big transition here. And this is really ugly. Uh, first off, we have uh, just over, uh, we're at uh, four inch on one side of the door. And on the other side, this, this threshold grows to four and three quarters of an inch. It's really hideous. You can tell just standing over it uh, that it's, it's crooked, it it's, was cut to fit because he didn't get his tile straight when he ran the bathroom. And then he put this threshold in uh, that's just, it's not even straight. Also, this is an ADA bathroom for disabled children. And I don't know if you could tell in the video here, but this ramps up. This is three quarter inch wood flooring. This is the easiest height of floor to match with your, with your tile. Somehow he ended up, his tile was way higher in elevation than the floor. So he had to put this ramp in here when he could have just made a nice flush transition uh, into the into the bathroom. Uh, so that's really unfortunate. Uh, there's also on his floor tile, we've got some gaps that look like maybe 3 16 and then some that open up to about a quarter of an inch. Didn't use any spacers. Also didn't use a leveling system. Uh, there's a bit, lot of lippage between tiles here. If you're barefoot in a bathroom, it's just uncomfortable. Use a leveling system, get your tiles nice and flat. Um, the drywall worked, so there was a wall here between the toilet and the sink, I believe. They took the wall out, opened the room up. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but this, this texture, it's not even close to matching. Here's the original on the other side of the wall, nice and smooth. And then over here, I mean, it's just so gritty, just a pathetic attempt to match texture on the wall. Let's come into the shower. A lot of things going on here. Pull this chair out of the way. So first we've got our shower valve. And there's a good quarter inch gap where the valve sat proud of the wall. That's because he didn't take the time to measure his valve or look at the installation instructions and make sure there's, there's a, a minimum depth that you have to have for the valve to sit behind the wall so that when you put your trim plate on, the trim plate should sit flush against the tile and then you cock it a little bit to keep water out or you put a gasket behind it. And he filled his gap, not even with caulking, he filled it with grout, which is just gonna chip and break away. He also filled all of his corners with grout. You should have color matching caulk in your corners because this is all gonna crack and chip out and then leak. And when it does leak, I asked the homeowner, if he put any waterproofing behind the tile and they said no it's just drywall um, so that this is just a disaster waiting to happen as soon as water gets behind this wall there's no waterproofing tile and grout are not waterproof you have to have waterproofing behind your tile <clears throat> uh, 
also really ugly transitions here. We got trim to bullnose, just filled the living daylights of it out of with grout. Um, and then on the other side, we've got the bullnose, and his tile was short, and he didn't find a way to, you know, nicely. And this is already cracking, um, so that's really ugly. Probably the worst part, right after Roy left and they used the shower the first time, it, <laughs> you could probably already see what's going on with the drain. It leaked into the basement because this drain isn't set right. Now we're doing a, a basement job for these people, so I'm actually gonna fix this drain for them while we're at it. Because he came back when they said it was leaking and he just filled clear silicone that's now all yellow around the drain and said, you're good to go. Uh, this is a ticking time bomb. Not only is it hideous to look at, but it's gonna leak again. So we're gonna cut that out. We're gonna, we're gonna re-pull this drain and set it properly for them so it doesn't leak into our basement job that we're doing for these people. Uh, but just really unfortunate drain there. And then you can even see in the camera here, his bottom course of tile, uh, he probably used a, fur, a level furring strip, which is the right way to do it, and then set all his wall tile going up the wall and then came back and filled the bottom course, which is the right way to do things. But it's a totally different dye a lot. Look how dark this bottom course of tile is compared to the rest of the wall. Um, so that's ugly. You won't always want to make sure you buy extra tile on your first round. Make sure that you get everything in the same dye a lot so you don't end up with something like that. Um, on the transition from the, this is an acrylic uh, low profile shower pan, um, you know, with a flexible curb for getting wheelchairs and stuff in and out. And then he's got uh, a, a bull nose type of a threshold here. And then he just filled grout in between the two. This is a massive leak point, And I guarantee there's no waterproofing underneath this, considering what he did on the walls. And it's already all cracked. I mean, you can see the, the grout's cracking. There's no way that this is holding water. We've just got a curtain in here. Can't do glass because of the ability to get wheelchairs in and out. And there's going to be water coming on this side. And it's going to sit right here in this, in this little space. And it's going to leak through. Uh, and they're going to have more water issues in the future. Yeah, so unfortunately, I could keep going on. There's more things in this shower, in this bathroom. Uh, just a real bummer. They, they did have to pay out of pocket, even though Medicaid covers some of this. And to have a job like this that is just going to have to get torn out and replaced in a few years. Uh, nobody should have to deal with that. Please vet your contractors. Oh, the last thing, they even asked him to pull permits and then found out that he wasn't pulling permits uh, when the job was near complete. If you ask your contractor to pull permits, they better be pulling permits. There's no excuse. Uh, so vet your contractors, check the reviews. If you want permits and they dodge around pulling a permit, there's your first red flag. Don't hire that contractor. Find somebody who knows what they're doing, who has the experience and has done this before. And hopefully you have a better experience on your bathroom.